Okay, in this demonstration we're going to look at longitudinal waves. Most of the diagrams of waves you've seen so far have probably been transverse. This is the classic sine wave that gets drawn on the chalkboard up and down and back. Uh, and that's a useful diagram, but it doesn't illustrate very well how sound propagates through the air. Sound propagates through the air as what's called a longitudinal wave. So sound is not going up and down. Sound is propagating through the air through air molecules that if you can imagine all the molecules in the air here running into each other. So those molecules get compressed and then rarefacted and then compressed and then rarefacted. The molecules themselves do not travel through the air. They stay where they are. They just bounce off the thing next to them and that one bounces off another one and bounces off another one. What we have here to demonstrate this is essentially a slinky suspended in a cage. And if you could imagine each little wire of the slinky representing an air molecule. What I'm going to do is start vibrating one end of the slinky and you can see that the one wire bounces off another that bounces off another and ultimately propagates that energy down the length of the spring. This is what's called a longitudinal wave. And as this is a much closer example of how sound propagates through the air. Keep in mind though that sound propagates equally in all directions. So sound is not a running column going through the air. This is happening in a 360 degree sphere. But if you can keep in mind that this is how the sound actually propagates through the air, uh, it will help you as you end up staring at all of these diagrams of sine waves uh, that are inevitable through, even through the material that we will show you. Keep in mind that sound is not going up and down. It's actually tra traveling longitudinally like this and that will help you uh, keep straight the physics involved in sound and wave propagation in the air.